Guys, I've been so busy watching nonsense like this on Netflix. This it's it's drama. I love it. Then I forgot to even talk about the VP debate last night. I'm in my soft girl era, guys. I've been just Netflixing and chill and eating popcorn and relaxing with my hubby that I forgot to talk about this. But I don't know if there was a clear winner for me. I know there's a lot of people coming out saying Vance won. Okay, hear me out. Vance did win in some respects that he just, he he held it together a little bit more. He seemed more poised, more polished. Um, he didn't seem like he was taking jabs or doing anything malicious. He seemed friendly, which was kind of like, whoa, what the hell is happening here? He's a little more aggressive on um, different interview podcasts that I've seen him on. He took it very soft and very nice with uh, Waltz. It was almost like I was watching a grandpa and a grandson have a conversation. It felt it felt strange. It felt it felt very demure. Tim Waltz for me didn't win. He didn't like sway my my vote as an independent, but he didn't lose either. He, it felt like I was watching somebody that definitely seemed like he was trying to play the card of I'm going to work between, you know, the, I'm going to work across the aisle. I want to fix this country. I want to help this country. I'm here as a helper. It felt like I was watching. Yeah. I saw Van Jones the other day referring to him as coach, coach, coach. You know, all of us love to hear coach because when you think coach, you think somebody that's going to help somebody that's going to mentor somebody that was that, that has experience, which is something he touted. You know, I've been in this game for very long. It's like, okay, old man, that's the problem that we're having as young people, as people, you know, uh, millennials, Gen, Gen Xers. We're sick of the boomers. We're sick of y'all. We, we want you out. We want you gone. So let's not tout that. I would have told him, let's not play on the, I, I've, I've seen this and I've been, it, it, you know, when you start talking about how long you've been alive and stuff like that, people get annoyed by that. It feels very like, like we, we know that you've been alive longer. We see it, you know? And what's puzzling to me is that as long as he's been alive, him trying to digress from talking about things like drugs, um, you know, like kids being trafficked and things like that. By the way, they 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 touched on it a hair and he pulled away from that real quick. He said, well, I don't know about that. Let's go on to this other thing. And, you know, that's what I find strange about politics is that yes some candidates choose to do like these two did and just talk about the issues talk about what's happening what the country's facing the kind of issues that we're facing and some choose to do like trump and what kamala did just attack 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 because they know that their whole campaign is based on them as a person we just want a person that is strong we want a person that stands up for us as americans and not sending our money overseas to other countries we want people that just don't come across like grandpa or like somebody working at the school gym and just he reminds me of like a couple of people I know at my kids school that are like just the, the old dude that holds the sign the cross guard at the end of the day he doesn't come across put together enough and polished enough for me to be fearful for me as another country to say wow I really can respect that guy you know Vance did it more for me when it came to that but I didn't I didn't feel and this is my opinion that he was horrible either. I felt like he was trying to show this, this workability. Like I'm going to work with whoever wins and I want you to say the same. And, you know, Vance tiptoed around that for a minute. But then at the end, he finally caved and said, yes, I, if you, if you won, I will concede. I will, you know, I will totally support you and I will be here to be supportive of whoever wins this presidency. So, you know, the United States, guys, we're a mess. We're a hot mess. But what else country is in a hot mess, right? At this point, I just I want to know your opinion, who you thought won. For me, there was no clear like 100 percent. Whoa, knock it out of the ballpark. But have a great day. Think for yourself.